Well, I was trying to become a VTuber, which one's me? A V-Roid model or a Live 2D? To bet full body movement's expensive, but it's okay, cuz. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free kaleidoface.com, baby. Saw their tweet on my PC. This technology is so crazy. I'm really sorry if my singing voice is really bad. Please don't bully. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free kaleidoface.com, baby. Hey Bobas, I'm Mari, and for today's video, I have something incredibly exciting to share with you. As a VTuber, you can finally get hand tracking for free. That's right, free. So, how do you get free hand tracking for your VTuber model? Well, there is this website called KaleidoFace, and you can use it with either your Live 2D model or 3D model. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to use this amazing and free web browser app in just a few minutes. But before that, I would like to talk about some technical points about the website's development. So, let's dive into some quick and interesting facts about KaleidoFace. KaleidoFace was developed by a solo developer named Rich. He made it with TensorFlow and MediaPipe, and all of this is powered by Glitch. There were a few prototypes in the works, but the main idea for this is that KaleidoFace allows you to stream with a webcam and have hand tracking motion for your 3D model without needing to buy Elite Motion. I know, it's great, right? Thanks to this insane technology of TensorFlow, this could potentially mean full body tracking in the future with the help of Move Night. Imagine getting full body tracking without needing to VR set or some really expensive mocap suit. So how did this all become a thing, really? Rich started playing around with Live 2D model motion capture sometime in November 2020. From what I can tell on his Twitter profile, he started working on developing his app sometime, I want to say, in December 2020. Like, officially. It honestly just looked like a really fun project for him. And thanks to Rich, we have another useful tool for VTubers who want to collab with their Live 2D models. The first version of KaleidoFace was released on January 16th, 2021 on Twitter with Live2D Face Capture. You could use it in OBS as a web browser capture source and looking at the results in its early stage, it showed incredible incredible potential. Rich started to work on 3D model tracking for KaleidoFace on March 6, according to his Twitter account. At some point, another version of model capturing was released in collaboration with using another app that Rich developed called Thermix. Then, on July 19th, a new update was released to capture both 2D and 3D models on KaleidoFace with brand new features such as a cleaner UI, camera privacy, peer-to-peer -peer server, and a few different expressions and accessories. Now, I know this is a lot of information and maybe you're thinking, Mari, why do you care so much about this? Are you interested in dev stuff or just super good at stalking on Twitter? Well, the answer is kind of both. I find this research interesting because the development of KaleidoFace is actually a big deal. There are so many VTubers that do not have a lot of money to shell out for expensive models and equipment. And this web browser app is going to save VTubers like myself and so many others a ton of money since programs like Luppet, MoCap, and hardwares like Leap Motion VR sets and full body tracking suits can be incredibly expensive. So I think it's important to understand why this is actually groundbreaking news for the VTubing community. Plus, I'm pretty good at snooping through Twitter when I need to. <laughs> So, just to summarize and recap some major points if you're bad at listening are 1. There are two different KaleidoFace apps. One is for Live 2D models and the other is for 3D VRM models. 2. Rich started developing the Live 2D KaleidoFace app in December and the 3D app in March. Both have updated releases currently since July 19th. Basically, it only took him 7 months to create these two amazing apps. 3. The 3D app allows face eye and hand tracking with your webcam or phone. And lastly, it's free. But you all should really consider supporting Rich on his coffee, and I'll link that in the description down below. All right, that's all I have on the history of Kaleido Faces development. Now let's get into actually testing the application out. All you gotta do is go to the website, which again requires no download because it's all web browser based. Go to characters, and then over here, you can select the upload button, and you can drop in your VRM file, which you can either just drag in, or you can just press the button over here. Or if you wanna just test it out, you could literally play with any one of these models here, which, um, why don't we, uh, no, I kind of like her. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's use her. Looks like the right click on the mouse moves the model around, whereas left rotates. 
and you use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out or you can just click on the scroll wheel and drag it in and forth to zoom in as well. Let's see over here. It looks like we have some background. So if you want to change the backgrounds to anything that you want, you can do that. And something that I noticed, if your computer is lagging trying to load this for whatever reason, then just turn off the water shaders. Honestly, you could probably just use this white background here or some kind of transparency or green screen. I know by switching it to the green screen, it helped drop the load on my CPU by a lot. Looks like there's also some really cool fun stickers that you can kind of just mess around with, which, uh, yeah, if you just wanted to add like a table or whatever, it looks like if you go to the corner here, you can zoom it and then you can just place whatever you want. Give yourself some pudding, maybe, uh, I don't know, you're gonna rock out with this guitar here and yeah, you can just kind of use them, although they don't really stick with you, kind of like how VTube Studio does, but it still works, especially if you're gonna stand still for the most part. The settings are in the upper right-hand corner, which over here is how you can kind of toggle the face and eye tracking. If you wanna have the pupils being tracked and the full body, you can toggle each individually, depending on what you're trying to do, and this can also help your performance. And here you can hide your little webcam feed in the camera panel, so that way it only shows the tracking animation of your face. And once all of that is all set you just press the blue button and you can go live and if you look over here we have this call a friend button which is actually really interesting you just share your six digit code with a friend to start a private voice call and both of your avatars pretty much come together which is really useful for collaborations when you're trying to set up your streaming software unfortunately i can't show you this because well i don't have any friends anyways some things to keep in mind when using collado face right now while it's in this current development are only one webcam can be used for one source at a time. You can hide the camera tracking panel if you don't want to show up on your screen, which is good for privacy. You don't need multiple cameras for this to work. For 3D models, you must have a VRM file, which comes from a Vroid model, and that is made by Vroid Studio, which is another free program. And lastly, the models, backgrounds, and any other settings that you selected when using Collado Face are saved based on the web browser you are using, which means if you switch browsers or you go on your mobile device, then and all those settings will not carry over and you'll have to reset them. Here's what Collado Face looked like when I tested it on different browsers. I don't have the most amazing computer setup, but this is how my computer handled the application. I also wanted to test if the tracking quality differed depending if I used my webcam, my DSLR, iPhone, or Android. So here's a comparison of me using all the different applications. Okay, after messing around with Kaleido Face and showing you all the fun potential it has, I want to talk about some setbacks that many of you bobas may encounter. This web browser app is going to require a strong PC for both the face and body tracking. You also need to turn on face tracking in the settings because it is not turned on automatically when loading the app. This is especially important if you want eye tracking. However, thankfully, you don't have to track both. You could track them independently and it'll work just fine. Your model also needs to be webbed optimize. That means it cannot have a large number of polygons because it could cause the app to crash or become unstable. Blend shapes might act a bit weird if your model is not rigged correctly. So keep that in mind if you're making your models with other apps and then you're trying to convert whatever file that is to a VRM to import it into Collado Face. There are currently no filters, but you can use a transparent layer and add effects within OBS itself. You can wear glasses with tracking, but it's a little glitchy and it can cause the model to jump at times. So I'm sorry for those who have glasses, but it's still possible to use. So yeah, those are really all the, I guess, cons I would consider when using this product, but this is still in development and who knows how far this application is going to go. And I'm honestly just happy to be saving some money because I was about to buy a Leap Motion and now with this, I don't have to for at least a while. So I know many of you are probably wondering, hey, how do I even set this up with my OBS? Well, all you gotta do is make a new browser source and then you type in the Collado Face website and you obviously make it the size of how you want the entire screen to be, which is usually 1080 by 1920. Unfortunately, you can't use this for Streamlabs and the reason for that is because of this icon right here. You need to touch the interact icon and with this, you're able to kind of interact with the actual web browser source within OBS Studio. I'm not sure if there's anything like this for Streamlabs currently. Maybe there'll be something like that in the future, but yeah, as you can see here, we can interact with everything that we need to right through this little tiny window. It's pretty awesome if you think about it. I hope Slobs will get something like this in the future. Like we can even toggle our little tracking over here too. All right, let's start this. <laughs> 
sorry about that, Bobas. I guess there's a extra little step that I'm gonna have to show all of you. I know this is very technical, but it's important that I show you how to do this because I was looking at Rich's Twitter account and it is incredibly confusing listening to all this tech talk about how to set it up to get the webcam to actually work on your computer, especially since Rich is using a Mac. So after some research, I finally figured out what that code meant. Basically, you wanna take this code wherever your OBS program is, meaning the actual executive application Application, wherever that is, usually in your program files, you want to take that link and then add what Rich had typed in his tweet and copy and paste it. I put it in a notepad to kind of make it a bit easier for me to remember for later. Then you're going to click on your Windows key, type in the run program, and then just paste that exact link that you just copied into this box. This will give administrator privileges to open up OBS Studio, which is important because when you add this code to it, it will give access to your webcam for OBS to use when you're using that interactive window. I know it's really long and convoluted, but this is how you get it to work. Maybe in the future, there'll be some updates that will kind of make this a lot easier and maybe have some slobs integration with it. But by doing it like this, you can actually get your webcam to work and you can start tracking with KaleidoFace. And once you set this up, you won't have to do it again. So you don't have to worry about that and all your settings will be saved because it'll already be in that same browser source. And yeah, you can go ham with it. I hope this ended up helping you, especially if you were very confused while trying to get this set up because not everybody has a two PC setup like I do, which is why I was able to use the program earlier without that much issues. This is how you would do it if you only want to use it straight out of OBS and you don't want to have to try to capture it on the other browser source. And this is Kaleido Face Bobas. Of course, Leap Motion would have much more accurate hand tracking, but that costs money and we're all here for that free body tracking lifestyle. And that's all I really have to say about Kaleido Face. If you liked this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. I worked really hard collecting all the information and formatting this video. And I would really like to give special thanks to Rich for all his hard work. And I'm super Super excited to see the further development of Kaleido Face, and I hope watching this video gives you all some inspiration to start VTubing with it. What did you think about this video? Are you going to start using Kaleido Face? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would also like to thank you all so much for helping me reach over 2,000 subscribers. Yay! I am so happy that you are all enjoying my videos and content. What other videos would you like me to cover next? Thank you so much for watching my video. I have a lot planned this year, and I am excited to start making more videos for all of you soon. Bye, Bobas!